have never wanted a title of mine to be clickbait as much as this one. Unfortunately, it is not clickbait. If you are in the New York area and in the San Francisco, California area, pretty much wherever there is a subway, this video is for you if you are a teenager. I would be very happy if you are watching this video and if you are a parent, this video is very important for you. As if you don't have a lot on your hands as we speak. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. If I did, the load would be a little lighter for y'all, but it's not, so get closer. I'm not sure how long Subway Surfers has been around. However, when I was in high school, I was playing Subway Surfers. It has great graphics, as you guys can see. It is a thrilling video. If you wanna put it in simple terms, it is pretty much a boy running away from the cops, but he's running on top of trains, running on top of sand. Y'all see how it looks. Now this game gives you the adrenaline, it gives you the thrills, it gives you all the good excitements. However, there are people in this world that want to seek even greater thrill. This is when they take a video game and want to mix it with real life. And this is what we get. The images you guys are seeing are of children, teenagers, going out on the subways, riding the trains like, I think it's Jake, I may be wrong, but the boy from Subway Surfers. I honestly don't think it would take a genius to understand the dangers that come with subway surfing in real life. It is highly illegal and this has been going on for over four years. I say over four years because I was looking at articles which we will be looking at together and there was an incident that happened four years ago, which was 2020, so it's a lot, so please be warned right now. Without yapping your ear off, let's get into these videos. Yeah, and riders have been stopping us all afternoon to tell us how shocked and saddened they were to hear of a teen girl dying in this way. Now, Metro Transit police say that girl was trying to subway surf on a red line train this morning near the Silver Spring Metro Station. And now subway surfing is an extremely dangerous trend where someone tries to stand on top of or outside of the train as it is moving. Metro Transit police say that girl was killed around 1030 this morning morning. They have not yet released her name or age. And this is unfortunately the second time in less than a year that someone has been killed in a subway surfing incident here on the Metro Red Line. Back in June of last year, a 15 year old boy from Silver Spring died near the Brookland Metro Station. He had fallen beneath the wheels of the train. And we have also seen subway surfing incidents in New York and San Francisco. Now, obviously, this should go without saying subway surfing is highly, highly dangerous. Authorities say under no circumstances should anyone be trying to do this. Uh, the trend had first gained popularity on TikTok, but after numerous deaths last year, TikTok announced it would be pulling down any videos related to subway surfing. Today, many riders on the red line told us they couldn't understand why someone would try to stand on a moving train. Now, I'm sure as a parent, you're probably watching this and saying freaking TikTok, we're sick of it. However, this has been happening even before TikTok. TikTok, and this will continue to happen. I'm not a parent, but I would advise you to please teach your children, educate your children on the dangers of being a sheep, for lack of a better term. Peer pressure, influence, thrill. There are so many other ways in order for you to get that adrenaline rush. It is unfortunate that I'm even saying this. You guys are parents, so y'all know what to say to y'all's children. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of overwhelming, especially because I'm only now finding out about this. Another case of apparent subway surfing takes the life of a 14 year old. This latest incident happened in Sunnyside, Queens. CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook reports it comes as the MTA reports these cases are becoming more common. Another teen is dead after subway surfing, this time along the 7 line between the 33rd Street and Queensboro Plaza stations Thursday afternoon. Police say Javon Frazier, a 14-year-old boy from Canarsie, Brooklyn, was killed after riding the top of that train. His body was discovered injured near an elevated stretch of tracks. He was rushed to the hospital where he died. Investigators say the boy was with other teens, but it's unclear if they were subway surfing as well. The tragedy comes after the this incident on the L line. Both were found underneath a northbound L train, which is Manhattan. 
Latin bound. Last Thursday, the Bushwick Aberdeen train station was the site of where police say two teens, both 14 years old, were riding the top of a subway car before falling off when the train entered a tunnel. One of them died. Maya Perez says her friend Brian lost his life in a similar incident. He was a sweet kid. He very funny. He would. And it's young losses of life like this that Mayor Adams wants to stop, saying there was a 366% increase between 2021 and 2022. Subway surfing kills. Now, like I said earlier, there's always going to be another social media app release, and we will be finding more crazy things that are happening in this world. Now, TikTok, I'm sure, is doing the most they can in order to censor these types of videos, or at least they're trying to, because I could only find about two or three videos, and that's just of the people jumping on, no, the kids jumping on top of the train. So they're doing their best. And anytime you type in Subway Surfer, the game is what is going to be popping up. That's TikTok doing their part. As a parent, you should be doing your part. We begin tonight with that breaking news in Queens where someone has been killed on the tracks at Queensboro Plaza. CBS 2's Matt Kozar is in Long Island City tonight with more. Matt. Jessica, the Queensboro Plaza station remains closed and just a few seconds ago we watched police carry a body down these steps. Our sources are telling us that this was a subway surfing incident. Subway surfing is when a person rides on the outside of a moving train. It is both illegal and extraordinarily dangerous. We do not yet have information regarding the person who was killed or the exact details regarding this subway surfing incident. We're told the victim is a teenager and was found by an MTA worker. Sources say it happened between 9, 9 o'clock this evening to 9.30 along the 7 train leading northbound. This train station also serves the N and W lines and we've been told that service has been disrupted. We are still gathering information, much more to tell you about this story. And as, as we get more facts, we will be sure to deliver them right to you. But for now, we're told this was a subway surfing incident. Next up, we'll be watching a person that survived who was a teenager when he made his decision of subway surfing. But before we get into that, I saw one comment on TikTok and I'm just gonna put it out here as well, just in case just in case. And the comment pretty much said, I do not have sympathy for stupidity. You guys can go to my exposing series and write that all you want and I honestly would not care. When it comes to this, I feel a certain way about it. I definitely do, especially because these are babies. I know they're teenagers, but they are indeed babies. So before you type that in there, just know the chances of you getting blocked are very high. Let's get into the video. I was uh, seeking adrenaline rush, you know? Even 10 years later, Brooklynite Isla Islam bears the scars of his decision to subway surf back in 2013. Literal scars like the ones on his head and others, like the walking stick he now uses, having lost his vision. It's 3 a.m., pitch black, you know, freezing cold. I turn around and high impact, slap my face on a subway beam. Issa was just 12 days shy of his 18th birthday in 2013 when he decided to subway surf along with his two cousins. They were on top of an F train climbing up around the Smith Street station. He turned suddenly only to see a beam coming right at his forehead. I was uh, fading in and out of consciousness. Uh, my eyes were rolling back. It's just gasping for oxygen. MTA data shows the number of people riding outside trains from subway surfing to riding in between cars has exploded, nearly doubling from 490 in the year 2019 to 928 last year. The explosion corresponds to social media trends and the MTA has reached out to social media companies asking them to take these videos down. It is a dangerous, dangerous behavior. Um, you know, people have lost their lives, families have lost loved ones, and, and you know, our employees have experienced trauma as a result. ESA is urging the MTA to look at how technology might help here. For instance, could they install sensors on top of subway cars? In the absence of that, he has a very simple and clear message for anyone who would consider subway surfing, and it is the same message he would send to himself 10 years ago. Don't subway surf. It's not worth your life. 
Uh, it's life is precious. It only comes, you know, once. And to take a chance and go up there, you're really, really gambling with yourself. A life lesson best learned by not doing in Kensington, Brooklyn. Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News. And that was his story. Now this next video, I normally take out all cuss words in videos, but I found this one very fitting with the rage and passion that this parent had, or maybe she isn't a parent. That's not the point. Oh my God. So when it comes to subway surfing, if you live in the New York or California or anywhere that has a subway train, let me know down in the comments below if you guys have been seeing this going around or if there has been a decline in this. Hopefully there is and I will see you guys on the next video.